talk about trapping a ball screen. So as we go back, let's hit on top out here. We call this our red coverage. Things are pretty much the same. One, talking. Two, two sets of hands. The big, he wants to try to get his feet inside the screener's feet. So you're out here screening. Okay, I want to try to get my feet inside of him. So he's going to try to drag it right here. As long as we can keep him dragging on the side, we've got two sets of hands, and we are going to try to do our best to get him to pick the ball up. Now here's where the next piece comes in. One pass forward and one pass behind. We are going to get out and deny that, which means the last man left has the basket. So if I happen to be guarding a fill cut right here, I would be then getting out and denying this. You're at the nail. If he lifts right here, I'm going to get out and deny that. We're going to give the skip up, which gives us time to recover, to recover to him. Again, you go back and think about what we talked about at the very start of the ball screens. Talk's the first thing. Second thing is the action. And the third thing is having two sets of high hands. What's well, no more important than when you're redding or trapping the ball screen on the side. Okay, let's try that here real quick. Good, good, good. Okay. We're, we're fine, hold on, hold on, we're fine. Just roll for right now, we're missing uh, a player here. But if, if there would be a fifth player, your rotation would be through that spot, okay? Give up the skip. Okay, one more time, just throw out to me, we'll go get a second side. High hands, high hands, high hands, good, perfect. Got hands on the ball right here. Right here, ball's right here, here we go. Turn it, get it again. High hands, high hands, perfect. Get it one more time. You're rotating here, you're rotating good. High hands, rotate through, perfect, great, great job. We've done our job. You guys do a good job of listening, okay? At a timeout, at a dead ball, might be something to go to. 